So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sublime set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the Armor and Dundee video for the Shader. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. So first and foremost, I should explain, this is going to be without the glow, the white glow. Um, Warlocks, I, I mentioned this in, I think, the review video, but Warlocks, you guys will have your videos postponed because you guys still have the white glow. Um, I will double check just in case, but I'll have an editor's note in case I'm wrong. But Bungie Styles and fixed the white glow for them because uh, both the... They're supposed to have an unglow and a glow version, and unfortunately, they still have a, bu a, a bug that both of them are still the white glow. So that's why you guys are gonna get your postpone or your video postponed because I don't want to do the white glow. I want to do it without the glow. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. But other than that, let's look at some of these sets. So to start off, we're going to be using the Sublime Helmet and the Sublime Boots. So this one is really, really cool because this is what I would imagine my Hunter would wear like in a casual sense, like specifically like uh, they're on an off day in the tower, just trying to like do some some like minor things like getting buying stuff. I don't know. But for this one, we're going to be using the Dawning Hope. I really like the shader with everything just because there's a good amount of gold in this. So for the armed mechanic trick sleeves, we're, 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 what we're going to be using, Lux vest for the chest piece and then the renegade hood for the cloak. So I really like this set. It's like one of my favorites probably just because of just how casual it is. I will say like if you really wanted to, you could definitely switch out the sublime piece uh, helmet and use something else. I like it just because it just looks like he just put that on and just forgot like whatever. I don't have to like do any straps or anything. I just literally put it on. Um, if he was really casual about it, he probably would just have his helmet off, like realistically. But I still really, really like it. If it was up to me and we if we had this choice, I would take off the Renegade hood and just have the scarf. I think that would have been way better. God, I miss just having the scarf because in D1, we just had a scarf. So I wish we had that because, again, that would be dope. But overall, I would say this is like one of my favorites. That being said, the others are really, really cool. So... I'm going to say this is my favorite until I see the other ones. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Sublime Arms. So this one is pretty cool because I mixed, mixed and master, mixed and Mac. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Sublime Arms. And this one is pretty funny because I mixed and matched this one a lot, specifically with the Stompies. I had, I was using like a lot of the, like the ornaments with it. And I just decided, I think the base look of Stompies is just going to look way better with it. And the reason why we're using Gift of the Nine specifically is because um, the calves, specifically like that that uh, like armor piece on the calves, does not change color and it's white. And not only that, there's like uh, what's it called, like little circles on the kneecaps, like on the sides, that like turquoise does not change color as well. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just use Gift of the Nine because that's hitting both of those pain points. So for the helmet, aspiring challenger mask, for the chest piece, pathfinder's tunic, and then for the cloak, heart and basilisk cloak. So this one was more of a like, so the reason I ended up using the pieces I ended up using was because um, I really love the arms. The arms are like probably my favorite piece from, from the whole set, if I'm being honest. I think the chest piece is super dope as well, which is I think the next set we're gonna be looking at. But the arms is super cool because a they're symmetrical but it's also like a rare thing that we don't see pauldrons on a hunter and it's just cloth i really really like that so i just decided, decided to go with like a, a like the, the whole theme of this specifically is um like 80 percent cloth 20 percent armor and that's like kind of where my head went so for the arms it's like only only the arms have like that uh the gauntlets the gauntlets whatever like the the forearm armor and then the chest piece only has a breastplate and then the boots only have like certain amounts of the legs the helmet is pure uh armored but the like the cloak is like psh, i would say more like 90 percent cloth and 10 percent armor so yeah that's like where my head went when i made this not only that i really like how the hardened basilisk uh goes with the pathfinder's tunic it almost looks like it's part of it, which is why I really like it. So overall, I would say this is also one of my favorites. That being said, I think all of them are bangers, if I remember correctly. So having favorites doesn't really mean anything with when all of them are bangers. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, I do have to apologize why both the male and the females look a little different. So the males um, is actually, if I remember correctly, from the... I'm recording that from the emote screen which is what i usually do if i have all of the sets unlocked 
the right side is actually from the the character customization screen when I don't have something unlocked. Unfortunately, I thought that I didn't have something unlocked here, which is why I recorded both of them differently. I don't really want to go back into the game and re-record it because I already need to make this video by today, which is Saturday. So that's why I'm not going to do that. And I also found it funny so that way I could explain like why sometimes some things look different when I'm recording it. So for this one, I actually really like it. It's a remix of a cowboy set that I made before. So for this one, Thunderhead Mask with the TM Herb Custom Cloaked Stetson and the grips. I think both of them are really cool. And then the deep pockets ornament for the lucky pants. For the chest piece, obviously we're using the subline piece. And this one is super dope. I really like this one. There's so many good pieces to this. For the shader, Canis, Clo Canis Coat is what we're using just because it combines all the colors really, really well. Not only that, the chest piece doesn't isn't like a super off color there is it there is a difference between the main chest plate armor and the arm the uh pauldron armor for the arms there is a diff the distinction but thankfully i it's not that big a deal to me especially when you look at the hunt uh the male side the male side looks like there is no distinction so for me i'm like whatever's um and yeah for this one i was immediately like the chest piece is going to be one of my favorites and it's completely true it's still one of my favorites so many things you can be doing with the chest piece specifically i went for a cowboy thing just because i thought it was going to look really cool but you can also do so many things with this one so this one is definitely my favorite i will showcase the original one that i had because i was not using looking pants and i'll probably put it over someone probably the females if i'm being honest and this is the original set that i made and i really do like it but i decided to go into the the cowboy theme a little bit more just because i feel like the chess piece goes better with it so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we're going to be using the sublime cloak now this is pretty funny because the cloak actually had a different set which i'll probably showcase in a bit but for this one i ended up going for a poncho look now if you guys don't know i i specifically saw it from crips's video where he showcases the first ascent grips with the Braid tech combat vest and immediately I was like, that's so, such a dope combo. I'm going to steal that. And I immediately, when I first saw this cloak, I was like, this cloak kind of looks like trash. I'm going to be honest. But then I thought, Ooh, wait, it's going to look really cool with the poncho look. And yeah, it looks super cool, um, especially for the males, just because it's not as thick as the females. Um, it looks a little bit more like a little bit better. In my opinion, the females, honestly, just like the volume of the of the wrap just needs to be a little bit lower and then it'll be really cool but for the helmet the euro pound scout visor for the cryptic cryptic what the facade helmet i hate this fucking name um yeah it's the one i ended up using because obviously i'm going for a tactical slash poncho look for i already explained the arms and the chest piece but again for first ascent grips for, and then the break tech combat vest is the poncho look that you're going to be going for and then diamonds born strides just because i'm I'm going for like a tech, like a tactical set almost. So I decided to go for the diamond sport strides and then sublime cloak for the cloak for the shader Sato tribe, just because Sato tribe combines cloth in just one color, which is really, really good considering. I don't even know if the sublime piece takes the same colors as the Bray tech and the uh, first ascent grips. So that's why I was like, fuck, it, I'll just use a shader that I know combines pretty much all of the cloth into one color. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely really love these sets like these sets are super super dope probably some of the best work that i've done just because again like when i saw the hunter set i knew i was gonna love it from like off the bat just because the pieces that hunters got are just so amazing next up is gonna be titans and if i'm hopefully doing this correct this video should be going up by today which is saturday for me and then tomorrow i should be able to have the titans video because i already have all the armor done for the titans it was pretty simple considering that armor is super dope so yeah hopefully that'll be up by sunday and your last call video as well will be going up tomorrow as well so two videos tomorrow and then we'll be posting the uh the other videos because i haven't been posting all of the other videos that i have the exotic videos plus the chroma cloak stuff yeah there's a bunch of videos that i still have i still have on the back stock just because of editing like it, it's really rough now that i have a full-time job because like when i get home i'm kind of super tired and i just have a lot of brain fog sometimes so yeah it's rough but thankfully saturdays usually are my days where i kind of like go through all of the co like content that i have and today is no different today we're going to be going through all of that all of the videos for me and then i'll make a schedule for all of that and then hopefully start actually posting other stuff specifically like the final fantasy 14 video that i'm working on and then i'm currently working on the like 
fashion like the big fat fashion video for all of the games that i play so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later